Hello everybody and welcome to assignment EE. Uh, we're just going to do a few examples here that involve the mid-segment of a triangle. For a mid-segment is parallel to one side of the triangle and it cuts each side that it passes through into equal halves. So number one here, we have a mid-segment right here. Uh, the two segments here are five and five and that would mean it cuts the other side into equal segments, seven and seven. Right here we have x equals seven. Over on number two here, um, uh, we don't have a mid-segment, but we are cutting two parallel lines or cutting the segments into um, proportional parts. 18 over 9, that's a ratio of 2 to 1. We'll also have this 2 to 1 ratio over here. If this side is 20, this segment must be 10. All right, number three, we definitely have another mid-segment here. We're cutting both sides in equal if we're cutting this into equal parts here. So um, this segment here, this X, is a mid-segment. It is exactly one-half of 35. Cut 35 in half, we get 17.5. Okay, for number four, uh, we're parallel lines cutting the sides of a triangle into an equal ratio. We're 3 to 1. Uh, three o 30 over 10 gives us 3 to 1. Uh, for number, for the other side here, we have 24. This number should be three times this unknown number. The number we're looking for is eight. Eight times three is the 24. All right, for number five, um, we have an unknown x here and an unknown x plus 12 on this side. Uh, this segment right here has a length of 11. This segment right here has a length of 22. So we have this ratio found of 1 to 2. Over here on the other side that ratio is still going to be true. Um, if we have x here for this piece, according to the other side, this should be twice that. So if we set up this equation, x um, is equal to if we, okay, equal to x plus 12. Now that sets it up equal to each other. To get this ratio right, we know this part is twice the other part. So these would be equal if I have 2x equal to x plus 12. All right, solving this for x, I'm going to subtract x from both sides um, and give me 1x equal to 12. There we go. All right, last one. Kind of have a similar situation. Notice the ratio here is 1 to 3. 10 to 30. This ratio over here will also be 1 to 3. It means if I take three of these x's, it will be equal to one of these x plus 10's. So that's what I'll set up. 3x equals x plus 10. And then I'll solve for x. Subtract x from both sides to get 2x equals 10. Divide by 2 to get x equals 5. And there we go.